Welcome to System.io Review. Hello, today I am going to introduce you to an all-in-one marketing platform that will help you get started with sales funnels, email marketing, website builder, and set up your business automation. You can sell your products, sell your online courses, so everything can be done from this single, all-in-one platform, and the best part is that it's actually free. You don't have to pay anything to get started. So if you are still struggling to get your business online, this is a great platform for you because the free package gives you a lot of tools. You can manage up to 2,000 contacts for your mailing list and you can actually integrate your payment gateways without paying anything. You also get 24 7 email support, custom domain and free migration if you are choosing a limited plan. So it's a must-have tool that gives you a lot of functionality from a single platform. They are not holding back on anything. They are giving you unlimited email, unlimited storage spaces, and no transaction fees, and great online support, and all of this is for free. So watch the video till the end. I'm going to just go to all the functionalities that this product has to offer. So let's just jump right in and see what this can actually do for your business. To get started, all you need is an email address. Just click the link below to sign up for free and follow along so that you can learn everything in one go. Once you sign up, you will get an email in your inbox. Go to your inbox and get the confirmation link. This is where you set up your password so that you can log into the dashboard. Once you are logged into the newly created dashboard, this is how you will see it. It's simple and easy to look at no complication whatsoever. That is what I like about it. It's newbie friendly, and this is the dashboard. From the dashboard you can see. That is your affiliate link that you can promote to earn money. That is where you will see your vendor sales and total stats of your affiliate earnings and sales for the vendors. And that's the marketplace offer. That's available inside the system so. That's available inside the system where you can list your courses and others. We'll promote it if it's good so that you can earn money. As you can see a lot of offers are listed here. You can actually promote it and make money if you feel so. And you can also list your products here. And that's the affiliate program. Program that's currently running inside the system. You can see the stats of different program that's currently running inside the software. To get started, click on create contact. This is the area where we manage all our contacts or leads. You can manually add any contact using this fields here and just save after inputting all the necessary information. Import your old contacts here and when doing that, always use tag to segregate users to manage your leads easily in the future. Always use tags to manage your contact. Otherwise it will be hard to know which came from where. So it's always a good idea to add tags to all the contacts and sort it accordingly. And you can also upload a CSV file of the contacts. If you want to import it here from a third party software tool, that you were previously using for email automations. So be careful only to add people who gave you permission to send them emails. Otherwise they will be sent to spam and it can lead to your account blockage. So only use those emails which you got consent from them to send emails. Once you have all the contacts added, then you can filter it by name, first name, last name, phone number, country, city, zip code, etc. Now let's move to the most important part, funnels. Just click on the create button to create a new funnel, then give it a name. It will take you to this section where you can add your name for the funnel. And you can just select the currency that you want to use with this funnel. And for this example, I'll be choosing United States dollar. Then select from the different goals listed for the funnels. For this example, our goal is to build an audience. So just select the goal according to our needs. To get started, just click on create. It will load the initial step with thank you page. So it's already created some steps and we just need to select a template from this or else we can start from scratch. They have a lot of good collection of templates here. Let's just review one simple landing page to see how it looks. So in this example, we will be starting from scratch. So we are not selecting any template. To start from scratch, you just need to select this template. 
So we'll be selecting that template. So it's just pre-filled everything for us. We just need to enter the custom URL for the funnel here. And just don't forget to save it. Because there is no auto save function with this here. And just save the confirmation of the page template change. Then just click confirm to save changes. Now let's look at automation rules. This is the easiest way to set up automation rules. If somebody is subscribed to our funnel form, then we can just add a tag to them. And there are like many settings we can actually add here. As we can see, the system gives a lot of options for us. And we can choose according to our needs. Next one is A-B testing. If you want to split test your pages with different colors, different formatting and things like that, you can create different variants and you can set it up. Here is where you see all your traffic stats. Here you can get your sales related information. And, and this is a deadline settings. Deadline funnels is a feature that helps you create urgency and scarcity for your products or services by using countdown timers. Countdown timers created with deadline funnels will only be active for a certain amount of time that you set. Once the timer reaches zero, it will expire and will no longer be displayed to your audience. You can enable or disable those settings from here. Now this is where you see all your leads. You can also drag and drop different steps that you made here. Let's just add a new step just for an example. Let's just give it a name and select an upsell page from these options. This can be our webinar upsell. When you select upsell, as you can see the template change. It's different template for different steps. So these are the upsell templates that are available. For example, we can add one more step. This can be a downsell page. Let's just give it a name like downsell and select the downsell page from drop down, then just click on save. Once that is done, you can see all the downsell templates available here. Upsell, a sales technique where a salesperson tries to sell a more expensive version of a product or service to a customer who is already interested in buying. If the customer choose not to buy upsell, then we can try downsell, a sales technique where a salesperson tries to sell a lower priced version of a product or service to a customer who has shown interest in buying a more expensive version, but decides it is too expensive. Now let's see how we can set up an order form fast and easy. If that is what you are looking for, we can take the credit card details from the customer and process the payment without paying any extra fees and process the payment. As you can see once I select that, the template changed to the order forms. Now let's look at the back end of an order form and see what all options are available. You have the option to add resources. Once you get the payment, I can give access to those resources. Whether it's a digital product or a physical product, everything can be set from that back end. Now let's see how the actual drag and drop page builder looks like. You have elements and blocks section. They have pre-made block for almost everything. This will make building pages easy and fast. For this example, we can just take this main header block and drop it to the main canvas. Let's just select another block and continue building this page fast. Just clicking on selection will add that particular block to the main page. And by just clicking on it, it's already populated there. So these are some of the other options. Let's just add one pricing plan. This is one way of getting it. Or else you can start from scratch. And let's just add one testimonials also. So that we have something to work around on this page that we are building. It's just that easy. In just under one minute, I just created a full page. Now let's finish this page with a contact form where we can collect some leads. When you move your mouse cursor, you see the color changing for each element. That's how we know which elements we are working with currently. This drag and drop interface is really easy to use. Light green is for section, blue is row, and yellow is for text and icons. 
understanding. This will help you manage this blocks really well. When you click on a particular section, the controls will be available on the left side. As you can see, we can change the background color to whatever color we want. We have a lot of options here. We can also change the content widths to extra small, medium, etc. And we can adjust the padding just like that. And bottom padding also can be adjusted. Other options like shadow can also be adjusted. We have a lot of control. And if we want to actually save this section, and if we want to use it in the future, we can give it a title and click on create to save the settings. If we want to save it as a master block, we have the option to do that as well, so that we can use it in different projects. So the customization options are really great. Before you do anything, first you come here and set the setting for the whole page. This is the main settings for the page, where you can actually set the font for the entire funnels and font size. And the language can be set from here. The background color and background image can be set. If you want, the SEO settings are also available in this section. This is where you add the title, description keyword and author name, and the social media images. This is where you hide it from search engine. And you can also add Facebook tracking information. Like you can add the pixel code here. And if you have anything for tracking for the footer, that can also be added. You can see how it looks in mobile so that you make your page responsive, which is really important. You can select your letter spacing for mobile page from there. For mobile, you can change the font size and line height from there. You can change the text background color. Can add color code or select the color from that option can add delay before displaying an item. You can choose what is visible or hidden on the desktop or mobile device, which is very helpful if you don't want to show some elements in your mobile responsive page. We can just switch to the desktop view by clicking on the desktop icon in the bottom left corner. We have a lot of control over this. This is a drag and drop interface as you can see. You can just drag one section from somewhere to the other if you want to change the position of that section. Can also copy by just clicking on that button. So now we have like two of the same section. You can just delete it. Once you click on the button, you have the options for it. You can give it a custom URL. You can actually show a pop up, open URL. You can give the URL here. And when you click here, it can take us to the next step of the funnel, can give a file to download. And if we upload it here, and you can change the button's width, you can set the margins, you can change the font size of the button just like that. And you can also change the background color and text color using these options. We get all the customizing options. If we have an imagination, then we can actually make it here with this software. We can add an icon to the button. We have the icon set here. We'll just select one icon. Just to show you guys the amount of customization that can be done here. And I'll also add one more icon. And show you that's how we adjust the height. Just the other arrow, I'm going to add it here. See now looks more attractive you can play around with these options. So you can do customizations like this. 
you can change the button corner. We have a lot of other options. On the left corner, we can add a raw HTML where if we have a code. This can be useful if you want to add custom features or functionality to your website that are not available through the builder's user interface. For example, you might want to add an interactive map, a custom form, or a third-party widget to your website. These types of elements may not be available as drag and drop components within the builder, but you can often add them to your website by inserting the necessary HTML code. So these are some of the customization that can be done. If you want to customize the text, you can change and edit the text there itself. You can also bold it, italicize. And just like that, you can give it a link. You can give the link there. You can open that link in a new window, open as a pop-up, can also link to file. Open it as a pop-up, and it can be added to a file. And lots of customization options are available, even for this. Those are some nice features to have. You can bold it, italicize it. Now let's look at how to add a pop-up to a button. Just click on the pop-up there. It is enabled right now. Clicking on it will enable the option to close for the pop-up. You can add delay to the pop-up using this toggle. You have the option to open pop-up automatically. You can set up exit intent there. It can be turned on or off. You have other options for the pop-up there. So highly customizable pop-up box there so that's also one of the options. Now let's delete the pop-up we just created. Clicking on that button will delete the pop-up for you. You can just preview the changes made by clicking that icon. And once all the changes are done don't forget to save the changes because there is no autosave function. Now let's exit to our main dashboard. We can also drag and drop the funnel steps. This makes our life so much easier to manage different steps. Now let's set up the email newsletter. The newsletter is just used for sending a single email to your subscriber. Here is where you add everything. And once you write your newsletter, you can send it or save it here. It can also be scheduled to go out. This is just straightforward, so let's move to campaign. Campaigns are like a sequence of emails that can be sent out. This is where you create those campaigns. Once you create a campaign, you can add as many emails as you want here. So just selecting this campaign, we'll send out all the emails in this campaign. Let's add a new email to this campaign. Start by entering sender's name. And give it a subject line. You also get to choose from visual editor and classical editor. I normally prefer classic editor because it looks more natural, not pushy, like sales emails. Just click on create, and it will create email edit section. This is where you add the body of the email. You can use substitutes here. If you already have their first name or last name, you can use that here. It will be replaced with their first name. You can just craft an email. This is just an example to show you guys how it's done. So you also have the option to add attachments. At the top you have save and send a test email. Or you can just save the changes. And just save and publish. I just saved it. Now if you want to publish, you need to click on that button. And you can add a delay of minutes, hours or days. Let's send this after one minute. There is no after, because we don't have any other emails. We can set the time and set the days. Have complete customization here. So just save it. We can create one more email. Just to show you how the sequence works. You can create as many emails as you want. In this sequence, you can add delays like two or three days after, or 15 days, 20 days, 
you can send as many emails as you want. And here you can see, as you can see we have welcome email we created before. Then we can just give a one day delay and publish it. And this is where you will see all your emails. In the campaigns, as you can see I have one minute delay and one day delay. And this is where you will see all your emails in the campaign. In statistics of email section, you also have the stats where you can see the number of emails sent, open rates and bounds emails. Now let's look at blog section. Click on create blog and enter a name and select a template to get started. Once you select the name, it will start creating the blog based on the template that we selected. That's the home page URL for the blog. And yes, you can see that this template has like four pages in three categories. Everything is populated for us. We can create a blog post from here by clicking on this link on this button. And let's just give it a title, a short description, and just select the category where you want to add this blog. I'll just fill it to show how it's done. So that's the title and description of the blog and just click on create. Let's just preview how our newly created blog post looks like. This is how it looks. The heading is there. And you can add the content just like we did. It's the same interface like we used for the funnels. You can add whatever you want. Once you finish with the changes, you can save it and exit. And this is how the blogging section of this software looks. This is the home page of the blog. And this is how it looks overall. Now let's move to the rules and automations. Click on add a rule to create a new rule. You can set rules also from the funnels. Like I showed you in the previous section. Here is where you add your automation rules using trigger and automation. In this automation, whoever visited my YouTube funnel and visited my squeeze page will add a day. Subscribe tag, that will help me understand how they got into my list. Now let's move to workflows. These are more complex than rules. Let's start by clicking on create button and then give it a name then click on save. Workflows are set of rules that performs a function again and again. This is really powerful. It can automate your entire business if you do it right. Just click on the workflow we created. It will open up the section where we can add our new trigger. Click on create your first trigger. For triggers we have lots of options. Whether it is a campaign complete, a new sale, page visited, tag removed, tag added. For this example, we can just select the funnels form subscribed and the squeeze page we created earlier. Then just click on create and that will create the trigger for this. Then we can add action, decision and delay. Let's just delay for like one day. For the next action to happen. So the next action can be Adding a tag subscribe. This subscribed needs to be added to everyone who came from the squeeze page. Now let's just set up a decision. For this decision, this will check for my contacts with subscribed and not subscribe tag. Before moving to the next step, system will take the user input and then make a decision based on the input we give here. Just click on create so I can send my emails based on their response for more effective conversions. Let's say, I don't want them to be in my campaign for YouTube test because they are already subscribed. I will to send them another course that I have. So if they select no, then I can target those. I'll set up another campaign just for the people who choose no will be targeted for that. So they will be added to that list. So it can be made as complex as you like based on your requirement. This is really flexible or customize how you want to customize it. Once everything is done, you just need to activate this by clicking on it. Otherwise it won't be active. So just click on the active button 
and confirm the action. It will give you a green tick where you will see that it is all set up and ready to go out. So that's how you set up a workflow. Now going to the settings. You have many options there. Once you go to the domain name, this is where you add your recaptcha settings, Thavacon. You can customize how the login page need to look like. All those customizations can be done from your settings. You can change the subdomain name. You can add a custom domain. This is a must-have step for you. That's how you brand yourself. You need to have your own custom domain, which is really important. You can set up active campaign API integrations here. So you have a lot of flexibility here. You can also add assistance to work on your funnels or email marketing or anything like that. You can add people like your virtual assistant or someone to work for you. This is where you add all the other details. You can change the password here. It. That is System.io in a nutshell. So if you have any issues with the system, you can always contact their support, which is really fast. So in short, System.io can actually create sales funnel for you. It can replace Kartra, ClickFunnels. You can use this for email marketing, which can replace a lot of other software for you. You can build websites so you can replace WordPress. You can manage affiliates for your products. You can create online courses that replaces Kartra, Podia, Thinkific, Teachable. You can also set up complete business automation from here, which saves you a lot of time and money and can make your business run smoothly and efficiently. Just the free version alone will save you like $320 per month. So it's just a no brainer. Thank you for watching the tutorial on our all in one marketing platform. With this platform, you now have the tools to create powerful sales funnels, engage with your audience through mail marketing, and so much more. Hope this tutorial has helped you get started and that you will continue to explore all of the amazing features this platform has to offer. Don't forget to sign up from the link below to support this channel. Until next time, happy marketing.